and welcome to another episode of Piano TV. Today's question and answer session is going to be about piano teachers. Do you need one? On the internet, there's like a million things that are free or super cheap, so it's almost like it's not that important to have a piano teacher anymore. But let's just talk a little bit about the pros and the cons. The short answer is yes. Yes, I think you need a piano teacher. Now, let me preface by saying two things. So the first thing is I'm a piano teacher, so I'm maybe biased. I know how it works. Um, but another thing is I'm a, I'm a self-studier. I'm the kind of person who will, I study for my own exams independently and um, do really well. But I think the reason that I can do it on my own now is because I spent probably somewhere around 15 years taking lessons before. So someone steered me in the right direction as a kid. And now that I have all the skills, it's easier to apply them and make sure that I know what I'm doing. So if it's something you've never done before, I think it's really important to have even just a few lessons just to, to steer you on the right path because it's really hard to tell if you're making like silly mistakes, if you're like sitting at the piano funny, if you have any weird timing issues, if the way you play is really harsh or you know, things that you might not necessarily know on your own. So it's best to have a teacher, I think. Um, yeah, even just aside from, you know, helping you away from bad habits, good teachers will steer you in the direction of lots of music that you wouldn't have ever found before. So there's something to be said for that too. Now, the biggest con, as we know, not everyone can afford a piano teacher. It's not super cheap. And I mean, piano teachers have to make a living too, just saying. Um, but not everyone has access to a piano teacher, not everyone can afford it. So I do believe that even though it's best to have a piano teacher, you can do it on your own if you're super, super vigilant. So it's very easy to develop bad habits like sitting at the piano wrong or having like wonky hand shape or things like that. Um, and that's why a teacher is helpful. But if you're gonna study on your own, I just wanna list off some things that I find will be really, really, really helpful just to make sure that you're keeping yourself real, keeping it real, you're staying on the right track with everything. So one thing you can do is video record yourself because that'll give you a look at your own posture. So if you're playing a piece and you're like hunching or something, you'll be able to tell, right? It's really hard to tell those things when you're actually playing. And even more importantly, record the audio of, of your pieces as often as you can and listen to them really critically. Make sure your tempo's where it should be. Make sure that, you know, sometimes when I record myself, I'm like, oh, I didn't know I was playing that so like angsty, you know, I gotta step it back a bit. You can just hear things different than you would when you're playing because you have more mental capacity at that point, I think. So record yourself. Another thing that you can do is listen to professional recordings of the piece you're learning. Um, try to listen to a bunch too, because you don't want to get too stuck, hung up on one recording. Um, but compare it and see like, well, what are they doing differently? Uh, how are they expressing it differently? Just to give you ideas of your own interpretation, because of course you want to add your own flair to it. Um, another thing to do definitely is sometimes play with a metronome, not always, just, just sometimes. Just make sure you're counting properly. There's so, so, so many people who would have a great performance if it weren't not for just like a tiny timing issue that could easily be fixed. So really listen for that. And this is important too, I think, and it's sometimes overlooked, but really study the piece that you're learning, okay? Study the era, who was the composer? What was the composer's life circumstances like at the time? You know, we listen to songs on the radio and we're like, oh yeah, I'm listening to the lyrics and that person sounds really sad. They must have been sad when they wrote it. And it's harder to tell that with some classical music, but you can, with a little bit of research, it's like, well, what was Chopin going through when he wrote those preludes? You can find it out and it'll give you a more intimate understanding of the piece that you're working on so you can connect to it easier. And not to mention that pieces written in the Baroque era are gonna sound way different than pieces written written in like the, the post 20th century, you know, new era. <laughs> so pay it, <laughs> choking here, sorry. So pay attention to that. So to recap, okay, the best thing that you can do for yourself is to have weekly piano lessons with an awesome teacher. 
Okay, the next best thing you can do for yourself is to have occasional lessons with a teacher. Um, this might be when, you know, maybe you've learned a few pieces and you just want some feedback. Um, maybe it's once a month, a couple times a month, you know, or just super random. There are a lot of teachers out there who can accommodate kind of wonky scheduling like that too. And it's better than nothing, it really is. And least ideal, but still totally doable, is to just study piano independently on your own. Well, and that's why this channel exists, right? It's to help people out who might not necessarily have a chance to learn piano otherwise. So just do your best. It's all good, honestly. Just work hard and you'll be awesome. Thank you for watching this video and to stay up to date with future videos and all that jazz and all that jazz. I don't even think that's how that song goes. Is that even a song? What was I talking about? Okay, stay, stay in touch. Uh, subscribe to this channel and check out the blog, pianotv.net, where all the videos are posted and there's happiness everywhere. Thanks for watching. Farewell. choking her.